My name is Mia, and this is my story. I was raised in East Cleveland, Ohio by a single mother. I have one sister. I graduated from Shaw High School, class of 96. I was raised in the church. My mom would get us up every Sunday. We would go to church. Um, I knew the Lord at a very young age, of course. I had faith, but my faith was tested strongly in 2006. I was in a car and someone threw a piece of metal over the overpath. As a result, I woke up in the emergency room and I think I looked down and there was blood on my right hand. I was told that I had been involved in an accident. My skull was fractured on two sides. I was immediately taken to the intensive care where I was told by doctors, you're lucky, two more inches to the left you would have passed away. I knew immediately I was not lucky, I was blessed. At that point, I had to get better for him. I knew in my heart I didn't want surgery. I didn't want anyone operating on me because I felt that God kept me so I would need to be operated on. That's how strong my faith was at that time and it's even stronger now. The therapist came in and he said to me, he said, listen, if you can make it down the hall, you can go home and you can have outpatient therapy. I started praying, Lord, I need to make it to the end of this hall. Mind you, I had not walked because of the accident. I wasn't walking, my hand wasn't working, but in my mind, I'm gonna make it down this hall. They stood me up in the hallway and I'm holding on with my left hand. I walked down to the end of the hall and by the time I made it to the end of the hall, I could just see lights. I could just see lights and I knew I was gonna pass out. And I started praying they told me, you can sit down in the wheelchair now. And I sat down and I started thanking God immediately because I knew I was about to faint. I was about to pass out. I just held on to my faith because I knew that I would have to go to another hospital, my rehabilitation will be extended, and I was determined to get out of there. I had someone right on my board, the joy of the Lord is my strength. And every morning I opened my eyes, I looked at that board and I said, okay, the joy of the Lord is my strength. Every morning, the joy of the Lord is my strength. And I hold on to that verse to this day. And my faith is so strong. I'm often asked, why are you so happy? I'm happy because I'm here for a purpose. I really am. And, and I'm holding on to that. I was driving home one day and my vision would change due to the accident. And I remember sitting at a stoplight and my vision had went away, I couldn't see. So I pulled over to the, to the curb and I parked my car. And at that moment, I remember closing my eyes and I opened them and I still couldn't see. It was just blurry, I couldn't see. And I just prayed, Lord, Please don't take my sight. I remember growing up as a kid, I was always taught, let's pray for your mom, pray for your sister, pray for your dad, um, pray for your loved one. And then I, it hit me, me and you pray for others, but you never pray for yourself. And I had to realize that I have to pray for myself, not just my loved ones, but I have to pray for me. kids are healthy, I have a wonderful husband, I'm in a good place, I'm just happy. No matter scars, from the accident, I had stitches from the top of my forehead all the way to the back of my hair and they had to shave off my hair. And I remember thinking like, 
Oh my gosh, I'm ugly. But then it hit me. I, God just saved me. God has a purpose for me and I'm here for a reason.